the 65th story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, written by Paul Ripps. The subjugation of a ghost. And you leave this school, you go to another school, oh, this, uh, that school, the old school was, that ghost is always there because you are having a borrowed knowledge. Middle after the engagement, a ghost appeared every night to the man, blaming him for not keeping his promise. What is promise? <laughs> Whose promise? You are sold it. Only thing they call the, the ladies who sell their sex flesh is called prostitute. Are you not a prostitute? By selling the promise to somebody else, what promise you are given them? They made you a slave by making your parents spend a huge amount of money. And then you go and beg to sell the same borrowed knowledge to another company and that company threatens you with a pink card. <laughs> the school threatens you with a cane or suspension or dismissal or less marks or detain. <laughs> and that also whatever questions they ask exactly what they wanted from the borrowed knowledge you should answer not from your creative build up. If you say anything from creative build up you are naughty. She told him immediately after the engagement, a ghost appeared every night to the man, blaming him for not keeping his promise. The ghost was very clever to her. She told him exactly what had transpired between himself and his new sweetheart. Whenever he gave his fiancée a present, the ghost would describe it in detail. She would even repeat conversations and it, conversations, and it so annoyed the man that he would, could not sleep. Someone advised him to take this problem to a Zen master who lived close to the village. At length in despair, the poor man went to him for help. When you are in, a, in love with somebody else, it was not love. <laughs> love happens of its own, then there is no fear. When you leave somebody, you left it because you, that's the first time you got your freedom. Once you understood that it was not freedom, you still wanted another chain. You wanted another person to put you in another jail. I killed one more person because this jail was not good. So I killed the person, so I get a much bigger jail. No, 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 no. You're jumping from one jail to another one company. Leave that company. That is enough for you to realize. Realize you are walking like a dead body and coming back like but then people like dead bodies. Yes. Whatever you do or say, whatever you give your beloved, she knows she must be a very wise ghost. Who oh, the Zen master said, your former wife became a ghost and knows everything you do, commented the master. Whatever you do or say, whatever you give your beloved, she knows she must be a very wise ghost. Really, you should admire such a ghost. The next time she appears, bargain with her. Tell her she knows so much, you can hide nothing from her. And that if she will answer you one question, you promise to break your engagement and remain single. What is the question I must ask her? Inquired the man. The master replied, take a large handful of soya beans and ask her exactly how many beans you hold in your hand. And if, if, and if she cannot tell you, you will know she is only a figment of your imagination and will trouble you no longer. Everything is a figment of imagination. If figment of imagination came from your borrowed knowledge, borrowed knowledge is nothing but your slavery. Slavery is nothing but you have not experienced. Slavery is nothing because you forgot to go. Sit next to your wife, to your children, to your parents. Without the asking, you sat next to them, held their hand, kissed them, fed them. There is no more beauty as that. Then you can know you can go to the trees and the plants and the pet animals. Otherwise, borrowed knowledge will keep disturbing you. The next night, when the ghost appeared, the man flattered her and told her that she knew everything. Indeed, replied the ghost, and I know you went to see that Zen master today because the borrowed knowledge has got questions. Borrowed God knowledge has got answers. Borrowed knowledge has got questions of the borrowed slave language and the answer is also slave language because you have been so much involved in, in a dirty uh, borrowed knowledge. It is full of worms and question is worms and you give worms. 
So the ghost is the worms. But not only, indeed replied the ghost, and I know you won't went to see the Zen master today. And since you know so much, demanded the man, tell me how many beans I hold in this hand. So at least now the man started, should realize, in a handful of beans, there was no longer any ghost to answer the question. <laughs> One handful of rice, one handful of beans, tell me how many are there. And the ghost never came, the borrowed knowledge never came back. If you realize that one, that handful of your grains is your talent, your power, enormous power. Nobody can ever count it. You don't allow them to count it also. They know it is full. Ghost appears every night. <laughs>